on a beautiful hit. Hey guys, I'm SKV and you're watching SKV Plays On and welcome back to Dauntless. As you can see, there's a, a new event pass out. Update 1.5.2 is out. Uh, let me just get to this first. Uh, I've already been doing quite a few things, uh, but before we get to that, you should know update 1.5.2 brings us a new mission with a Scrave that's gone crazy. And you'll be uh, doing a mission called Call of Kal Toga. You can only do it if you have reached level 6 of your milestone, Elemental Mastery. That's when you'll be able to get a mission from Marcus and you'll be able to do that. I'll show a little bit of gameplay footage but before we go to that, you should know event passes out where there's a mini pass i'm doing the one with the level 10 called the ragnar's folly it's an extension of the cold front hunt pass which is going on right now it gives us the new chest piece and uh, helmet type so i'm doing that one i've already unlocked it but there's also another one you can go at the bottom of your hunt pass screen there's a option called change active hunt pass click on it You'll see that there's a season 4 hunt pass which is back again. This one if you preview it you have level 30 to reach. And it costs you a bit of platinum to unlock it. If you do not have any of these you can unlock it and do 30 levels of the burning heights hunt pass. Make sure you activate it meaning it has to be the active one on the top. And the option will be on the right side at the bottom to activate that particular hunt pass as the current active one. This is the one I'm doing right now. Only 10 levels. This one I'm not doing because I already have everything. And it's indicated by the asterisk symbol on the top of each level. You can see a small star. Yeah. And this one I don't have any of this. That's why I don't see any stars. That one I'm going to be doing now. Other than that, there are also rumors that you need to do. If you remember rumors from before, well, we had to do this particular rumor to get this particular armor set, the helmet and chest piece. It kind of was a headache. This time also, I think it's going to be a very confusing thing because I spoke to the hunt pass Samuel L. Jackson over there and he gave me the fifth rumor. I don't even have the first, second, third and fourth yet. I got the fifth rumor. The rumors are supposed to be given by Honest Oz but it's not showing up for me. I don't know what I need to do to kind of trigger that to happen. But as you can see it's not triggered yet. But anyways other than that right now I'm going to be doing the fifth rumor in a bit. But before I go for this gameplay. Do check out this little bit of uh, gameplay that I did with the new Scrave. This mission is called Call of Kaltoga. You get it only when you reach the Slayer Path level 6 milestone. That's when Marcus Boher is going to give you that particular new mission. This is uh, the new mission Call of Kaltoga. Look at that Scrave. You need to do this hunt two times. As you can see, this is a threat level 11. Is it just me or this grave doesn't have one eye and only one eye is glowing red? He seems like a ghost of a, a pirate lord or something. Or a viking. Uh oh. Run! Okay, I think I already... S oh, hello. Lene Silver is actually a particular NPC. She's gonna give... Uh, well, she's just there for something. I don't know. But uh, I probably am gonna get one shot. It did say it's a threat level 11. I'm not sure how good I'm gonna be against this. Nor do I have any potions to keep me safe. Wow. 
Oh, come on! I didn't know this was gonna happen! Help me! Oh, come on! Not again, not again, not again, not again! I'm so dead, I'm so dead. I am dead. Oh, I do get three. Okay, okay, that's fine. Is it just me or I'm completely slowed down? I think I'm getting the hang of it. Okay, I'm back in town and as you can see there's a purple question mark before it was gray since I did not finish it before now I'm done so he's gonna Dude. give me the reward blah 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 Peltoga is done I think this is uh, something that you'll be fighting in the future uh, ice escalation or frost escalation which is going to well it's gonna be the next escalation so this is what uh, are the types of behemoth we might be able to face I think if I'm not wrong just a teaser for us there we go heaven die heaven die see thank you, you and you'll get a particular die a new heavens blue die and I don't know what it looks like so we're gonna check it out right now heavens blue no that's not the one that's not the one I got nope Where's the new one? Uh, now Okay, that's heroic hunt pass related Special White Oh, there it is Heaven die That's the one Huh, I'm already using it What? I already had it, I got it again. And Okay, so if you don't have it, you can get the heavens. I already had it, I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, by the way, event pass is also available in the vault, the reward. The outfit is available, you can get that. As you can see, I'm using the chess piece right now. But if you don't want, to, or if you don't have vault coins, you can always go to this one, preview it, activate it by unlocking with platinum, and then get all this done by doing the bounty tokens and also by, well, uh, the hunts, of course. Uh, it gives you hunt pass XP. Make sure that hunt pass is active. Anyways, here we go. This is my uh, terror run. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, bit of gameplay as well. I need to finish it off within 15 minutes. So let's see how this goes. I should have kind of gone with the Chainblade build. It's faster, but I need a terror weapon to defeat this particular behemoth is what it says. Oh, brilliant! I got Wireland Impact now.
Static build by the way, it has no speed whatsoever or maybe it does, I don't know. But for some reason I feel very uneasy with this one. Anyways, here we go, uh, going up against the Garrus, we need to get it done within 15 minutes. So, do that, I am gonna go with some potions, potions, potions.
There we go, done. Ugh. Okay, I'm not much of an axe person, especially when it comes to a slow axe. I'm more of a Rezakiri axe guy with a bit of speed, but I think we got it done within 15 minutes. So, let's go check. Pa, pa, pa. Done. Rumor. Done. Rosk. Oh, I need to go to the hunting. Oh, training grounds. Oh, make sure you, if you don't find any uh, exclamation marks in the particular town or Ramsgate, check your training grounds. That guy might have a task. And as you can see, that's done. Continue. That's it. Now what? That it? Okay, right now I'm just going back to Ramsgate because someone else has a task for me. So yeah, pretty much these are how the rumors go. I guess I'm going to be getting different tasks from other NPCs. I'll keep bouncing back and forth after completing each task. And someone else is going to give me a new task if I finish it. Then another one is going to give me a new task. I don't know how many tasks are there. Last time it was 8 and 8. This time I have no idea, so yeah, pretty much I'm uh, gonna be doing these tasks, I guess. Anyways, I think I'll stop it right here. Uh, I have no idea when or where I'll get the reward, so once I finish it, I'll probably make a video just explaining how I got it. See, there it is! Deal 100,000 damage to raging whatever sports truck behemoths or a garris escalation only hunt and 500 xp let's see accept it okay okay see let's see already. boom so i have to get this done or oh come on man i don't want to waste platinum for these things i'm at uh, rumor number six for some reason i don't know where one two three four is or if i already finished one two three four some reason uh but yeah to skip this i'll be able to finish 500 xp 100,000 damage to raging sports struck behemoths or a garris escalation only right anyways i think i'm gonna switch to my chain blade build now this is going to be fun 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 anyways that's about it thanks for watching and as always you guys keep smiling i'll see you guys next time until then a sayonara a tata a see you and a bye bye i'm gonna finish this off now or probably in the two or three days to come i'm gonna probably be lazy because i want to go play cyberpunk right now this is too much of a grind for something that i don't even get to see it's supposed to be a sword and a helmet I don't even see it in this guy's store. I don't know who's gonna give it, when I'm gonna get it. It's the same old rumor all over again. This is going to be annoying as heck. Anyway, see you guys. I'm done for this video. Ciao.